Okay, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to be starting with Adobe Animate. So the first thing that you need to do is find Adobe Animate. So you're, you're just going to come over here and you're going to go th through and find Adobe Animate or just click and search for Animate and then open Adobe Animate CC. It has the little AN and its icon should look like that when you open it. All right, once it's open, go ahead and click Create New HTML5 Canvas. And the reason we're going to use HTML5 Canvas is this is what has replaced Flash animation on the internet. HTML5 is the standard now for animation on the web. Okay, so it set up a simple 550 by 400 canvas, and I want to change that size. So the first thing I'm going to do is click right here on the width and make this 747 and I'm going to change the height to 420. Now your screen is smaller than mine and so one of the things you might be seeing is something like this. So the first thing let's go ahead and fit in window and if your canvas is a little off to one side or the other then you want to hit this button right here, center stage. All right, so what we're going to be doing today is building a background. So let's go ahead and uh, let's take our first layer one right here and let's let's turn this into the sky. So let's go ahead and click right here on the background color and change this to a nice blue color. And then I'm going to double click on the layer in our timeline down here, and we're going to call this sky. And then let's just go ahead and lock that down so we don't move the sky around. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is create a brand new layer. So down here in the bottom left hand corner, click that new, click the new layer button. Uh, it may be hard for me to do this. There it goes. Okay. Try to click it without turning off my recording. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be our ground layer. So let's make some uh, mountains or some hills. Okay, so what we need to click on is our pen tool right here. We're going to get our pen tool, and this works a lot like the pen tool in Illustrator. So we're going to come up here to our color, and let's, uh, let's pick this nice green color. We don't want any uh, fill, and uh, we want to make sure this says object drawing mode is on. Okay, and let's go ahead and make make some hills. So I'm going to put a point right there, and a point right there, and I'm going to whoops undo. So my stroke is super huge. So let's turn that down. Okay, so I want to bend this point into a hill, like that, All right, so that's one hill, so let's go ahead and finish by closing that off, All right, and now I can take my fill tool over here, and I can, oops, I don't want to fill it with that color, so I want to fill it with this color right there. So there we go. So you saw how I just clicked on this and then I could sample with my eyedropper whatever I wanted. I can still take my direct selection tool right and I can move it around or I can use my sub selection tool and I can stretch these out. Right? So let's make our hill a little bigger like that. It's okay that I'm stretching it outside the canvas because the canvas is the only thing that really matters. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my paint tool. All right, so what I think I'm going to do is we're going to call this hill one. And I'm just going to make a new layer. Go and get my paint my uh, pen tool again. 
And I want to make a shorter hill over here. All right. I'm going to zoom out. Get my, my paint bucket again. Fill this in. Oh, keeps changing the color on me. Okay. So now I've got my two hills. So I'm going to call this one Hill 2. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is create a little walkway down here at the bottom. So I'm going to make another new layer. I'll call this walkway. I'm going to get my rectangle tool and I want the walkway to be kind of like a sidewalk color. So I'm going to pick this gray color right here and I'm going to turn this way down to like 2. And then I'm going to draw my little walkway right here. Now I want my walkway to have kind of like a bend in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my selection tool. All right, and now before I try to um, do anything with this object, one of the things you want to notice is it has this little pink outline on it. That means that it's been selected. So what I want to do is just click over here anywhere, and you'll see now I have the canvas and not that drawing object. And that's what I want. The other thing I want to do is hill 1 and hill 2. I want to lock those down so I don't accidentally make changes to them. So now my direct selection tool, when I hover it over my walkway, becomes a little curve tool, like a little smiley face. And I can make it curve in any way. I just want to put a little slight curve into it, like that. Okay. So now I have a walkway, and I'm going to lock down my walkway as well. All right, let's put a uh, let's put some sun and some clouds in our uh, picture here. So the clouds ought to be fun. So let's go over here and get our paintbrush tool, and we're going to change this to white. And uh, we're going to get a specific brush. So you see the little brush icon right here? So I'm going to click on that. And then it's going to bring up the brush library. And you have lots of different ones like arrows, artistic. What we want to pick is decorative, elegant curl. And let's get these cloudy, full. Double click on that. And it puts that style of brush right here. So now what I'm going to do. is we want to make a new layer first. We're going to call this one Clouds. Okay. We're going to draw like that. Now the cool thing is, is, is it looks like we're just drawing some little lines, but now I'm, I'm going to get my selection tool and I'm going to click on this and I'm going to increase the stroke. And you'll see there's my clouds as I increase the stroke. I get different clouds. So, and I can also move these around. I can add more points to these. Right. I'm going here with my Add anchor point tool. You can add another anchor point. So I can make them a little bit different. Okay, so I can also take these and I can uh, I can change the opacity or just change the color by using the paint paint bucket tool. Right. So if I want to make them gray clouds, right, or white clouds, I can do that. I'm just going to leave these white. 
white clouds for now. All right, so let's go ahead and put a sun in here. So let's make another new layer. And we're going to put the sun. And so I'm just going to get my circle tool. I just want a regular line again. And uh, let's go ahead and make the inside of our sun kind of an orange and make the stroke kind of a yellow. All right, and if I hold down the shift key, I get a nice round sun. And I can put this up in the corner like that. And of course, I can still make it bigger if I want right, by stretching out. the edges. Alright, so now I have my stage. So let's go ahead and save your stage. Save as. And we're going to call this um, Lesson 1 Stage. And then your name. Let's go ahead and save that to our documents file. And then go ahead and upload that as your first assignment.